in this video we want to learn how to perform subtotal in XOR and in VBA let's get started now we have this HR data I want to perform subtotal based on the department okay we want to actually know what is the net salary for all the employees working in each of our departments okay whenever we want to actually use the subtotal we must ensure that one our data is not formatted in excel table and two the department or whatever you are you know subtotally on must be sorted in ascending or descending order okay now you can see that the department is sorted in ascending order a to z okay now the next thing i'm going to do is click on the data tab and on the far right in the outline group we have the subtotal now in the subtotal dialog box so i'm going to check this at each end each change in so since i'm doing that on the department so select departments and of course we are using the sum function then we click ok so we can see that we have the subtotal for each of our departments for example the total net salary for the accounting employees is 209.576 and of course in the status bar it's absolutely correct let's check for the people in customer service 23560 23560 okay which is absolutely correct so we are currently in the outline 3 now let's go to the VBA aspect now I've actually inserted some you know rows okay so to demarcate each of the departments now I'm going to press on my keyboard Alt F11 to open the VBA editor then click on insert and we want to insert a module so my top routine I'm going to just call it so put out or whatever enter, enter. okay so I'm going to declare a variable so I'm going to say um, in x -ax range I'm going to say um, for each x in range so then open my bracket now my range is actually in column h okay so i'm going to put um single quote and double quote so i'm going to say and of course it starts from i to then colon all through to that column i so after doing that i'm going to close this and i'm going to use the ample sign sign to join that with cell then open bracket root dot I want to count then comma so for my column index that's gonna be a to r I think that will be nine nine then we're gonna close that up dot end open bracket excel up close that and of course dot rows dot row not rows then dot special cells and of course for my special cell, I'm going to just put in a you know, value of 2 okay then we we'll close that up after doing that then we're going to say dot covering that area so that's the first line of code I'm going to say with x okay sorry y which is the variable that we declared so the next line of code is going to be I'm going to say cell open bracket dot row okay dot row and I'm gonna say dot count on count then I'm gonna plot that add plus dot row then now the column index of course is going to be nine then I close that up so I'm gonna say dot formula then equal to open um to double quotes equal sign of course I'm using the sum function so just type in the sum function no problem whether it's small letter or capital letter then double quotes again space then use the and to join that with dot address so I'm gonna address this and space close close my term then close my outside in double quotes after doing that i think that's fine and i'm going to say end with and i'm going to say next um x rather 
italic to verify whether it's correct that they need to be fine. Now let's run the code. Okay, I've clicked on run. Now let's quickly go back to Excel. Oh, let's check. Absolutely, we got the same answer. If you check in the subtotal for the accounting department, it is 209576 and we have 209576. Absolutely magic. Now let's check the department. The true value for the sales people is 7421440. Let's check the subtotal. Okay, yeah, kindly 742440 absolutely magical so this is how to perform so total both in the conventional excel way and using the vba thank you and bye for now